Meantime, it's been about 24 hours since Metro Police made an arrest in the case of a man suspected of shooting at a police officer, but there are a lot of questions still surrounding the suspect. We have team coverage with the very latest. Action News has two crews digging up more information on the man accused, accused of shooting a Metro officer. We begin with Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley. She's live from the Emerald Suites where this happened. And uh, Elizabeth, we understand you've uncovered some dramatic video in the aftermath of that shooting. Yes, Steve, I have some very dramatic cell phone footage. Now, people are still very shaken here at, em uh, at the Emerald Suites, but as you can see around me, things are starting to get back to normal. Yesterday was a very different scene. This whole area was shut down all the way from Pebble on that side over to Serene. Nobody knew what was going on until we actually seen the officer getting hauled off in the gurney. So it was just a real, real crazy moment. Philip Davis still can't believe a Metro officer was shot just outside his room at the Emerald Suites. I was just in my room and um, I had just got back and I heard a couple. It sounded like gunshots at first, but, you know, didn't think that that's what it was. When he realized what was happening, he started rolling. I seen the officer. He was slumped over over there behind the wall and um, uh, somebody else was helping him and uh, everybody was calling for police. Davis says it was eerily calm and empty in the moments right after the shooting. Then there was an explosion of activity. It was just him and the other guy that was helping him. And then I seen another officer and then maybe about like after five minutes, that's when the ambulance and the uh, other police officers units came and all that. And then it was just crazy over here. As the officer is being wheeled away on the stretcher, you can see he's moving and obviously awake. The good news is doctors expect him to make a full recovery. As for the suspect, Teague Fox, he's behind bars facing serious charges, including attempted murder on a police officer. Police haven't confirmed this, but people at Emerald Suites say he lived in one of the units near where the shooting happened. I don't know. I've never really seen him except going into his room, but, you know, I didn't really see him like that. Other than that, you know, nobody knows anything about him. Coming up tonight on Action News at 6, hear from a woman who says two bullets narrowly missed going through her window. She says she could have easily been hit. Reporting live from Emerald Suites, I'm Elizabeth Gadley, Channel 13, Action News. Thank you, Elizabeth. And now our team coverage continues with Contact 13 in 